Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn about what are the important theory questions that you need to study for your semester 6 examination. A very important video for all the TYBMS M6 student under the subject operation research. Here I have created a list of questions which are you know most likely to be there in your paper. Now those students who have difficulties in searching the answer or getting the answer. So I'll be reading out the questions uh, which are most important. And along with that I have also noted down the answers. So you all can you know refer that and you, you all know you know you all can take a screenshot you can refer that and you can learn from that also. Okay. So let us see which questions are the most important from the exam point of view. The very first question. Explain the concept of free float total float, independent float and interfering float in network analysis. Okay, this is the very first question, very important question. Okay, now this is the solution for free float. So if you all want, you can take a screenshot of this. Okay. So after every slide, okay, I'll read out the question and then I'll wait for a couple of seconds. So you all can take a screenshot of that and then we'll move ahead with the next question. Okay, now this answer was only for free float. Okay. Okay, we have free float. Next is total float. So this is the answer for total float. The next one is independent float. Okay, and the last one is interfering float. Okay, that's the very first question. Explain the concept of free, total, independent and interfering float in the network, network analysis. The next very important question is, discuss the significance of game theory. Okay, or what are the importance of game theory? Okay, so this is our second question. Third, what do you mean by alternative solution in transportation or it can be even asked as how do you identify alternate solution in a transportation problem or it can be also asked as what is the procedure to find that alternative solution okay so first what is alternative solution so we have given you three points and the steps are going to be on the next slide okay so you can, take a, you, know, you can go through or read this or you can take a screenshot of this. Okay. This is the, uh, the steps okay, or the procedure to find the alternate solution. Okay. This is question number three. Next question number four. Discuss five areas where techniques of operation research can be applied. Okay, next. Difference between PERT and C. It, it is not CMP, okay? it is CPM. Okay? This is actually CPM. That is critical path method. Okay, that was question number five. Next, question number six. Explain the term redundant constraint or infeasibility in linear programming. So there are two parts. They can be asked even individually. Okay. So redundant constraint ke related this answer is there. Where we have the meaning, the example, uh, a rough diagram and the meaning, the final conclusion of the answer. Okay, in the same way, infeasibility. This is the answer for infeasibility part of the answer uh, of the question.
ओके देखो क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन डिफाइन ऑपरेशन रिसर्च एंड डिस्कस द एडवांटेजेस एंड लिमिटेशन ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर एट एक्सप्लेन द अजम्पन इन एल एल पी ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन एक्सप्लेन द अजम्पन इन जॉब सीक्वेंसिंग Okay, next question number ten. What is dummy activity and what is the use of dummy activity in network analysis? Next, what is feasible region of solution in LPP graphical method? next what are three estimate in perth next what is meant by project crashing next what are the objectives of critical path in network analysis next how do you resolve degeneracy in an assignment problem next explain the algorithm of hungarian method to solve an assignment problem under this question here you just have to note down the step how you are going to solve the sum okay okay next why is a non degenerated solution a prerequisite for optimally test of a transportation solution next or the you know the last question basically distinguish between nwc or the northwest corner rule least cost method and wan okay so these are the 18 most important question that you need to learn for your external paper okay so i hope everyone have noted down the question and taken the screenshot of the answers and you are going to prepare yourself according to that okay so with that we will be ending this video here thank you